Hello guys, so finally there is an update that many engineers would definitely be waiting for and yes, that is the recruitment notification from ISRO that is just today 4th of May for the post of Scientist Engineer SC. Let's have a look into that. This is the ISRO official website. Let me quickly go to the career, careers page and the first notification that you're going to see for exactly after today's date and you're getting this update right in the morning and that is for the recruitment for post of SC. Let me go deep inside this recruitment and tell you all important points that you must be knowing about this okay and let's have a look into the complete detailed pdf here yes the icrb that is isro centralized recruitment board okay for today's date has you know given an important notification and very in the very beginning of the video let me tell what are the branches okay that are going to be recruited so that if you are with that particular branch you can stay okay so the branches that are going to be recruited is civil electrical refrigeration and air conditioning so mechanical guys are eligible for this and architecture yes guys so isro offers the position of scientist engineer sc that is going to be as you all know group a gadgeted post okay and also group a non gadgeted post in autonomous what is the total very few posts the major post are this group a gadgeted post only so if you are civil electrical mechanical or architecture you can stay tuned to the video or else uh, you know you can leave or still if you are curious keep you something may come in future what is the new exam pattern of ISRO then also you can stay tuned to the video now how many vacancies and what is the eligibility criteria so for civil okay this time we have good number of vacancies that is 39 Okay, and you should be having a B, B Tech in civil engineering with an aggregate of 65 percentage or if it is uh, on the scale of 10 CGP on the scale of 10, it should be 6.84 or above, right? If we talk about electrical engineering, there are 14 posts. Again, you should be B, B Tech or equivalent in electrical engineering that is double E or electrical and electronic engineering that is triple E branch again with the same percentage criteria. Then we have nine vacancies for refrigerationing and air conditioning. And again, mechanical students are applicable here. B, B Tech and equivalent in mechanical with conditional with air, air conditioning and refrigeration or some of the related subject as elective during your degree again with the same uh, qualifying percentage mentioned here and just one post for architecture engineering where you should be have a holding a bachelor's degree in architecture also at the same time as i told you there are uh, posts for uh, autonomous bodies and there were two non gadgeted posts one for civil and one for architecture the main point is okay for civil this is good 39 for rsc that is mechanical nine vacancies electrical 14 so guys be electrical guys beat even 14 vacancies okay but think if you are going to compete and fight for the 14 vacancies you are going to work in isro so it is worth fighting okay because isro is one of the dream job for many many engineers okay and also guys this is not through gate this is going to have a separate written examination. I'm going to tell you the complete selection procedure. So if you are prepared for GATE, you have given GATE this year or maybe earlier, then you just have to quickly revise your concepts and appear for the written examination. The written examination is definitely uh, achievable if you are qualified for GATE. Now, definitely if you are a passed out, you can apply, but can final years apply? Yes, final years can also apply for this examination if you are going to pass out this year. Only condition is you should be able to produce your degrees Okay, by 31st of August of this particular year, I think which is quite possible okay at least for most of the universities it is quite possible so guys good opportunity for final year students now let us come to the more more important points that you should be knowing yes age limit okay eligibility criteria i told you the age limit is 20 years as of the last date of the form the last date of the form is 24th of this month 24th of may 2023 and your age should be maximum of 28 years as per that particular given date okay now right how do you apply? Well, of course, you have to apply on the ISRO website. The application for online registration will be hosted in the ISRO website starting from 24th May. The last day will be 24th of May. Of course, uh, you know, with a provision of late fee, you can also filter 26th May. But yeah, if you are clear and if you are decided why to wait even till 24th or 26th, you can start filling the form. Maybe just in you know, one within a day or to don't uh, you know unnecessary delay the important things the application fee form is very nominal it is just uh two merely 250 rupees that you have to pay to fill up the application form okay and this payment mode and all engineers okay now let us go to the more important process that you might be interested in and that is the selection process okay so this time the selection process is slightly different the written pattern is slightly different okay now very clearly they have mentioned that written test will be conducted and they, that will be in 11 centers mentioned here Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Dehradun, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Lucknow, Mumbai, New Delhi and Thiruvannath 
Puram. Okay, and also what is the pattern? Very, very important. Now stay tuned. What is the pattern of the question paper? So this time the question paper is going to comprise of two different parts, part A and part B. And the total duration is going to be 120 minutes or two hours examination. It is going to be how many questions in part A and part B? Let's have a look into this. Okay, so part A, which is clearly mentioning discipline specific part, area specific part. That is of course your technical examination. Basically that is going to contain 80 MCQs with negative marking. Yes. So plus one for correct mark minus one third for negative mark out of these 80 questions also 70 percent will be strictly to your core specialization like electrical core if you're an electrical student or civil core if you are a civil student right but 25 percent of these uh, part a questions that is 80 questions will be the questions that will cover the allied area means related area topic for example electrical students so you can definitely expect some questions from instrumentation or from electronics area which are related to electrical but the good thing is 75% of these, that 60 question is totally your electrical uh, core subjects that you study for gate as well. Okay, and also let's come to the second part and that can be really scoring for engineers and that is the aptitude or ability test and that too they haven't mentioned quantitative aptitude. Right. So in this part B you have a total of 15 MCQs for a total of 20 marks, right? So you can say four by three, the unique marking scheme, four by three for every correct mark and there is no negative mark in aptitude, right? And uh, the, there's no quantitative aptitude as I told, it's numerical reasoning, logical reasoning, diagrammatic and abstract reasoning, which is basically diagrammatic and abstract reasoning in simple words, if I say it is the spatial aptitude syllabus of gate, right? And deductive reasoning, which is like logical conclusion types of questions. I'll give you a complete detailed analysis on this, what type of questions can be fit in every category, that all details will do. Okay. Okay, now once you qualify the written, you'll be called up for interview and the number of aspirants called for interview will be in the ratio of 1 is to 5. Like electrical, if there are 14 posts, around 70 students will be called for it and like civil, there are 39 posts. So you can expect 195 uh, students can be roughly called for the interview procedure. Now, what is the final qualifying criteria, right? If you are a student from unreserved uh, category, okay, then you have to have minimum 50% in each part A and part B of the written examination. So written examination had two parts and you have have sectional cutoff for both that is minimum 50 percent also interview will be for 100 marks and you need to have secured minimum 50 marks in the interview as well overall the aggregate should be more than 60 percent and if you're a res reserved candidate it is little bit relaxed 40 percent for part a and part b each in the written test again 40 out of 100 in interview overall aggregate should be 50 now this overall aggregate how this is going to be calculated the final for the generation of final panel, 50% weightage will be for written and 50% weightage will be given to interview. That is how your overall aggregate will be calculated. Okay, yes. Again, a important thing ki baat karte hai, which you are mostly interested for. Already in the beginning, I told you that this is the recruitment as see in the level 10 of the pay matrix and in the level 10 of the pay, pay matrix, you're going to get the basic pay of 56,100 and other than that, the several uncountable benefits that government employees get that is the hra the transport allowance the dns allowance okay and then you talk about all the subsidized foods and you know the uh, staying facility quarter facility uh, within the isro campus the lts insurance house building allowance etc etc uncountable benefits and that is why you know many people work hard their dream is to somehow enter into a co-government job and isro is one of them and it's it's really a dream for many of the engineers Okay, so go for it, fight for it and let me, you know, quickly also update the uh, dates once again. The uh, application starts today, 4th of May and the last date is going to be 24th of May. You can fill up the form quickly. The exam date is not yet announced, but it's not going to be like 6 or 8 months. Okay, we can expect it somewhere within 2 to 3 months. The exam can be conducted. So guys, yes, this is the time, whatever you prepared for GATE right this year or last year okay, you have to start revising it practice the questions revise the concepts and you know take up some test series for isro okay and uh, don't worry guys a complete detailed strategy video for this examination i'm going to bring to you very soon how to conquer this examination what questions to be practiced what areas to be focused more okay uh you know i'm going to make a separate video on this don't worry so that you get a clear cut idea about this ISRO written examination including the aptitude part what are these questions and uh, you know how to conquer those particular questions and also guys in case if you are a fellow you know if you're a future gate aspirant going to appear next year just be motivated about gate see sometimes for many of the students gate is a direct dream okay for iits or for psus okay many of the students are not much motivated about gate so guys you know even if your dream is isro okay and notification comes like this in the month of you know it's may exam can be expected in two to three months so there is very rough very hardly you can do in two to three months 
even if you want to entire cover the entire engineering syllabus in 2 to 3 months it's going to be a really difficult task it can be done not impossible but really difficult task you have to study day and night okay still you'll not have that much edge because many students would have been prepared much better than you already so guys always being an engineer you must be really serious about gate because it can be direct benefits or lots of indirect benefits of preparing gate examination like these notifications coming up all those who prepare they get an edge because they just have to revise and practice more related to the isro questions okay so if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button and if you just want to keep getting regular updates about this and also your favorite faculties are anyways taking all your technical and non-technical sessions on the channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel bye bye thank you stay safe all the very best for this examination